Good morning, booktube. It's morning here anyway. Uh, out on the deck. It's a little chilly today. Warmed up. Got cold again. Good. Let's me keep my jacket on, which means I can have more different outfits for my channel because I've only got one sweater. About six black t shirts, one gray t shirt, one jacket to my name. One nice shirt with a collar because I'm traveling living the minimalist lifestyle. I wanted to go over quickly the challenges I've committed to myself to join, put myself on record here so that so that uh, I can hold myself accountable. Uh, basically, there's three of them. Two are combined into one. I'll do the one that isn't combined first. I guess it could be combined with uh, March Mysteries too, but I'm following along with Roger's... Uh, Old Cheap Book Club from Michael K. Vaughn. I don't know if I have the name exactly right, but I'll put it correct in the uh, in the description. The March selection is 39 steps. I guess maybe I can count that for mysteries too. It's it's very short, so it'll be the first book I probably finish for my 100 book challenge, which I didn't say in my 100 book challenge video. It's probably going to take me years. I'm not really putting a time limit on it. And fortunately, I've got a lot of short books that I can read in there. I've got Ed McBain, uh, 87th Precinct books I can read. Most of those I bought before. So uh, Anyway, so 39 Steps for Roger's Cheap Old Book Club, Michael K. Vaughn. Then uh, there's two events, uh, March of the Mammoths for the Chunkers, the big books. And uh, there's no place like Rome. I've heard about these on a few channels, of course. But mainly I've heard about them through... Book Time with Elvis, Mark's channel. And I'm going to combine them and read the the book I held up at the beginning, The History of the Decline and Fall of the Roman Empire by Edward Gibbon. I'm going to cheat a little bit because the versions I have are the Gutenberg versions and it's in six separate volumes. So I'm going to count that as six books on my 100 book challenge. Uh, and I'm even cheating more on the chunkers because each volume is about, as far as I can tell from comparing them with print versions, it's about 600 pages. A chunker for the mammoths, it's supposed to be 800 pages. But if I count the first two, if I count the total six, it's like 4,000 pages. So if I finish that this year, I'll have started my mammoth in March and maybe I'll finish it by next March. Uh, it's pretty ambitious. I may fail. I've read a little bit of it before I started reading a, a, an, a, um, an abridged version a long time ago. Then I decided I really want to read the, the whole thing. I, there's a few classics that are seem like even more popular than the abridged version. One is uh, Gibbon's Decline and Fall. The other is the, uh, the um, Life of Johnson by... Oh God, I can't remember who wrote Life of Johnson... That's embarrassing for any book lover. Um, anyway, the famous book, Life of Johnson, by the guy who was a friend of Johnson and of Samuel Johnson and was obsessed with his life and really only wrote about Samuel Johnson. And if I keep talking, maybe I'll remember his name. Anyway, those often you can get in abridged versions. They're probably just as good in abridged versions because they're such mammoth books, but when ebooks came out, I thought I really want to read the whole thing. Also, this this Edward Gibbon, this Decline and Fall version that is posted on Gutenberg, I believe has many annotations by a clergyman writing about a hundred years later. So, not so much interested in those. Um, I'll probably skip them if they're in there. I might have that wrong. But from what little I did read of Gibbon originally. I really like his writing style. He's got a great acerbic sense of humor about the whole thing. And, and you know, I don't know how accurate the history is at this point. You know, he the first volume of History of the Decline and Fall of the Roman Empire came out in 1776. So obviously there's been some new discoveries since then. So I don't know how he, accurate the history is from that point of view, but I know that it is considered a great historical work of literature, great literary work on its in its own right. 
so that's mostly what I've got, I think. Let me see. 39 steps. March of the, March of the Mammoths. There's no place like Rome. There's no place like Rome is to read any book related to Rome. Of course, history of the decline and fall of the Roman Empire qualifies for that. Oh, was there anything else? This will probably go out tomorrow. I'm still trying to do a day or two ahead just in case I, I freak out and decide not to do one or something happens with the internet or that. I really want to keep doing them on a regular basis till I till I get in the habit because I tend to start things and then fall out of fall out of the uh, this is just the rambling part now so it's a good time to click off I'm not going to mention any other books but I tend to fall out of you know I tend to really gear up on a project and then you know lose interest sometimes so then I just make myself do numbers I do that when I'm writing like Right now, I started a writing project the other day, maybe four days ago. Now I just make myself work on it a little bit every day, even if I don't want to, because you start out with a lot of enthusiasm on something, or at least I do. And, you know, when you get to the middle, the middle energy, I think they call it, that it can, the enthusiasm can lag a bit, and that's when most people drop off on things. And then, you know, when you get to the end of a project, your enthusiasm picks up again. So that's what I'm doing right now which may be tedious maybe not but you know I find most people just watch the first few minutes of video anyway and I do that with a lot of videos even videos I like because I'm scatterbrained so I don't, I don't mind let me know if you are interested in these videos that I'm doing or if you're not uh, you can keep it to yourself it's probably not going to change anything I really like doing this and we'll talk again. Thank you very much. This is Pete at Bookless Pete.